Mikasa disagrees with the set piece that Kaori has chosen for the gala concert. Hiroko wants Kaze to focus on being a pianist and not to focus so much on his dead mother. At night, Kaze and Kaori sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star before arriving at Kaori's house, where his parents work in a family owned pastry shop. The next day, Kaze and Kaori struggle to be in sync during their practice. To relax a bit, Kaze, Kaori, Subaki, Ryota, and now play with fireworks by the school swimming pool. Tsubaki accidentally pushes Kaze in the swimming pool, where Kaze recalls Hiroko telling him to hear the music from his heart and not from his ears. He wakes up to his friends in which Ryota saved him from drowning. On the day of the gala concert, Kaze worries when Kaori has not yet arrived. During a few practice sessions, Kaze and Kaori perform Love Sorrow, the second of three short pieces from Chrysler's old Viennese melodies. Kaori tried her best to get Kaze to play with feelings rather than with structure, which is possibly why she chose this particular piece. Since Kaori is a no-show, Kaze takes the stage alone, much to the audience's surprise. Kaze plays a piano transcription of the set piece which was originally composed for violin and piano. Following Hiroko's advice, Kaze plays with a gentle touch, hearing the notes through his heart and not through his ears. As he uses this opportunity to prove himself as a pianist, he internally comes to terms with memories of and connection to Saki. Once he finishes, he hears a light applause, and the ghost of Saki no longer haunts him. He walks into the hallway and cries on Hiroko's shoulder, finally happy to let go of his sorrowful remorse. After seeing Kaze with a smile on his face, Tsubaki begins to have tears, but she is torn between relief and regret. During the gala concert, Kaze performs Rachmaninoff's piano transcription of Love Sorrow from Chrysler's old Viennese melodies. This is a surprise because the gala concert was to honor the top performers from the violin competition. Tsubaki tells Kaze that Kaori was sent to the hospital after collapsing in her home. This is the second time that Kaze, Tsubaki and Ryota visit Kaori in the hospital, in which Kaori tries to act cheerful enough, though she's obviously not well. Nao notes that Tsubaki may have romantic feelings for Kaze instead of Saito, but Tsubaki only sees Kaze as a brother. Kaze visits Kaori again, explaining that he decided to play the set piece by himself, instead of just going home, and he realizes that she chose the set piece because of him. Nao continues to worry about Tsubaki being with Saito, while Kaze ponders which high school to attend next year. Later on, Kaze and Tsubaki walk barefoot on the beach, reliving past moments. However, Tsubaki runs away in tears when Kaze reveals that he will be moving away to attend an early college high school of music. Tsubaki cannot hide her feelings of confusion since Kaze plans to move away. After Saito later breaks up with Tsubaki, she tells Kaze as he plays the piano to comfort her. Tsubaki is frustrated as she sees her friends moving forward, afraid that she might be left behind. She believes Kaze to be a liar when he says that he would stay by her side. As Kaze hesitates to visit Kaori in the hospital, he encounters a girl who falls on top of him from a tree and he takes her to see Hiroko. The girl is Nagi Aiza, an aspirational pianist and Takeshi's younger sister. She performs a little bit on the piano and Hiroko agrees to be her piano teacher. Kaze attempts to visit Kaori again, but he hears Ryota from outside her room. Kaori calls Kaze on the phone and tells him to bring some Canellis for her the next day. As Kaori later walks weakly in the hospital hallway, she is unable to stand up after falling on the floor. In the music room, Kaze performs the third movement of Debussy's Suite Bergamasque, famously known as Claire de Lune, in order to comfort Tsubaki after her breakup with Saito. At Hiroko's house, Nagi performs Chopin's Wrong Note Etude in order to convince Hiroko to take her in as a student but this hints that Nagi may be after Kaze as an ulterior motive. Hiroko has Kaze critique Nagi on her technique during her piano lessons. After Kaori surprises Kaze with a shopping spree at a department store, he assumes that she left her backpack at the school since she was wearing her school uniform, but he realizes that she was lying about it. As Kaze takes Kaori home on a bike, she tearfully thanks him for spending time with her. Nagi begins to plot revenge on Kaze after he continues to point out all of her mistakes during her piano lessons. One evening, as Kaze finds Nagi at the stairway to a shrine, Nagi admits that she looked up to her older brother, whereas Kaze reveals that he looked up to a girl that he can never date. In the hospital again, with her friend, Kaori becomes so upset that Kaze is spending less and less time with her. Meanwhile, Nagi feels like she and Kaze are two of a kind, chasing the one person that they cannot catch up with. Kaori proposes a double suicide with Kaze. Kaze feels down in the dumps at school due to what Kaori had asked him, even though she assures him that she was not being serious about it. 
In the school gymnasium, Nao worries about Tsubaki for her obvious feelings for Koze. At her house, Hiroko notices Koze having distracted thoughts, cutting the piano lessons early. Nagi follows him and tries to cheer him up at the park. Later on, Ryota eventually convinces Koze to visit Kaori in the hospital. But Koze does not have much to say when he sees her. He storms out of the hospital room when she tells him to forget about her. Koze asks Nagi if he can perform with her at an upcoming school festival. Nagi experiences performance anxiety in the days leading up to the school festival, feeling as if twilight surrounds her, but Hiroko soothes her with words of wisdom. On the day of the school festival, Koze and Nagi have a brief moment to bond before they take the stage. Koze and Nagi perform a set piece written for piano four hands. During the performance, Koze competes with Nagi to see if she can keep up with him. As Nagi believes that she understands Koze on a deeper level, this pushes her to perform with all her heart. After they end their set piece, the audience is blown away with their performance. While backstage, Koze is confronted by Takeshi, who is jealous that Koze teamed up with Nagi, otherwise known as his little sister. Takeshi demands Koze the chance to beat him in an upcoming piano competition. Koze visits Kaori on the roof of the hospital to find her passion for music awakened since she listened to Koze and Nagi's performance from her phone. Koze challenges Kaori to perform one more duet with him. During the school festival, Koze and Nagi perform Rachmaninoff's piano arrangement of the waltz from Tachkovsky's The Sleeping Beauty. This is unique because it is arranged for piano four hands, meaning two pianists play on the single's piano. At the hospital, Kaori opts for a risky surgery, all for the sake of having the chance to perform with Koze one more time. Koze meets with Kaori's parents and they all watch as Kaori is undergoing rehabilitation. At the school library, Nao tells Tsubaki that Koze has been practicing non-stop for the upcoming piano competition. Tsubaki later hides her feelings of jealousy towards Kaori while giving Koze a haircut. On the day of the piano competition, Koze shares an egg sandwich with Emi and Takeshi, bringing them on good terms with him. Takeshi takes the stage and plays his set piece, as he contemplates his former rivalry with Koze, always wanting to be the better one. After his performance, Takeshi realizes that Koze is more like his hero in a way. During the piano competition preliminaries, Takeshi performs Choplin's revolutionary etude played with relentless 16th notes in the left hand and cross rhythms in the right hand. Takeshi used this piece to express how Koze is his hero rather than his rival. Ryota drags Koze to the hospital to visit Kaori, who continues to exhort Koze to keep practicing for the piano competition. During a rainstorm, Tsubaki knows that Koze loves Kaori even though Kaori loves Ryota. Tsubaki says that Koze should fall in love with her instead, only to kick him in the shin and run off in tears. The next day, Nao suspects something happened between Koze and Tsubaki, while Hiroko tries to tell Koze that he needs to concentrate on the piano competition finals. Kaori later contacts Koze to watch a late night flight in the starry sky. The following day, Koze admits to Ryota that he likes Kaori, though Ryota already figured as much. Koze and Ryota walk towards Kaori's room, where nurses run in panic. They find out that her condition is drastically worsening, as she seems to enter in cardiac arrest. Kaze takes a dying kitten to a veterinary, but it is too late, seeing his hands covered in blood. He washes his hands and cries in agony. Hiroko visits Kaze at his house. Seeing him cooped up in the bedroom, he claims that he cannot play the piano anymore. Seeing as he's reliving the trauma of two years ago, Kaze returns to school and finds a note in his desk from Ryota, and the familiar stationery inside reads, I want cannolis. Kaze visits Kaori in her hospital room where she came back from the intensive care unit. He carries her to the roof of the hospital and it begins to snow. He tells her that he has given up playing the piano, having the fear of losing the ones he cares about. She then tells him that she will be undergoing a risky surgery. She stands up and pretends to hold her violin again, but shortly collapses and falls in his arms. The surgery takes place on the same day as the piano competition finals. Kaze has his head down in the hallway which concerns both Takeshi and Emi. As it is his turn to take the stage, Kaze begins to break down. When he hears Tsubaki sneeze from the audience, this reminds him that he has friends who support him in every way. Kaze performs his set piece knowing that he's never alone. He finds himself floating in the clouds and sees an illusion of Kaori playing the violin alongside him. Kaori gradually disappears as lights rush from the sky to take her away, with Kaze begging her not to leave him, in which he realizes that the surgery was unsuccessful. When he completes his performance, Tears run down his face as he says his final farewell to her. Later, Kaze receives a letter from Kaori through her parents at the funeral. As spring approaches, Kaze reads the letter which reveals that Kaori, who admired him as a child and was influenced to play the violin with him someday, 
She was overjoyed to be in the same junior high school as him, but she could not find the confidence to speak with him. She explains that she told Subaki that she was in love with Ryota in the bid to get close to Koze, the Lion April. She notes all the good times that she spent with Koze before saying that she loves him. The letter also contained a picture of them when they were younger. During the piano competition finals, Koze performs Chopin's first ballad, featuring two themes with variations as well as a thundering coda. Koze plays this piece to reach out to Kaori even though the surgery was unsuccessful as it represents a farewell gesture to the one who he truly loves. After the concert, Tsubaki reaches out to Koze and tells him that he will never be alone and makes peace with him. Although they are saddened by their loss, these words of encouragement ease the pain and raise their spirits. The group of friends strive to be happy from here onward, for the sake of the one now watching over them from heaven. The end credits roll with a touching and colorful montage of Kaori. Did you like this video? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button while you're at it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.